Hello and welcome Libra. This is your March 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Yannock. You're watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we will do here, Libra, we will look into your energy in three different steps, if that makes sense, or in three steps. We will look firstly at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look at your emotional core, which is about whether or not, you know, um, things need to heal, uh, love is coming in, that sort of stuff. Really, really important. Um, that's going to be your emotional core. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as to present themselves to you in the month of March 2023 for the very sign of Libra. With no further ado, Libra, Librans, let's have a look at you. Let's see what the guides have got for you. Okay, so. <laughs> I had that before in another sign, so it sort of cracks me up that this showed up, shows up again. <laughs> Libra, your energy is the energy, or, or the depiction of your energy, over energy, is this guy. I always pronounce that wrong. Always sounds so rude when I do, right? So I'm not going to even go there. But that planet, <laughs> Uranus, right? Get the hint. Um, is the planet of, of, of literally sudden change. And the overall energy here is twofold because the number on this, on this card here is the number 25. Two and five is seven. Seven is the highest number of protection and healing. So while changes are coming this month and you may not know where you're going it is perfectly fine not to know where you're going right but you have the highest number of protection and healing by your side which is also interesting because obviously you're the seventh sign so not only have you got the seventh sign which therefore is governed by the seventh house which means the highest number of protection and healing is always with you because you are the sign that craves harmony uh, above everything else Libra and the point is while changes are probably coming in quite quite massively for some of you in March um, don't fight them understand that this needed to change this needs to change let it happen okay that's the overall energy for the months of March 2023 for the sign of Libra so let's have a look what else we got for you. So we're looking at your emotional core now. When it comes to anything to do with love, so I'm not, I'm not seeing you in need of stepping back this month and healing. Like I said, that doesn't mean if you had a treatment or something or you're in the middle of a, of a 21 day healing response or whatever the heck you're in, that doesn't mean you should stop it. All I'm seeing is that this month, with regards to your emotional core, will work better when you're in charge of whatever is happening. So if you are a person that says, you know, I don't trust anyone uh, at this point in time, then work on that trust, right? Whatever it is that needs to happen with regards to manifesting a relationship, changing things in the relationship, um, that is where you should be the authority figure, for want of a better word, to make things happen. Really important because um, it's interesting that the number here is 48. So that's a 12. One and two is three. And three is the number of progression. What that means is, um, I sometimes digress to numerology. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you, uh, you, you function best in a relationship this month or a manifesting relationship this month is when you are wanting it to go somewhere so make demands right even if there's nobody there yet uh, make demands that's what i really feel that's what i want that's what i deserve right um so that is the most important thing for you is, is to is to um go into almost sounds like go to go into the offensive if that makes sense which is not quite right but um if you are out there and show yourself and say that yeah here i am Aren't I gorgeous? Rather than saying like, oh, here I am, I'm not doing so well. You understand? Attitude um, is really important because that's what you are supposed to do with regards to manifesting uh, relationships or working inside a relationship. You know, is to, in a way, it sounds a bit wrong, be a bit in charge in the sense that, you know, you have equal rights. Speak up, 
right? So that was that. Uh, finally, let's look at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March 2023 for the sign of Libra. You are watching Thomas' Tarot readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And for the last part, I'm drawn to my galaxy ball. So let's see where we are at. Hmm. Okay. Opportunities are in the distance, but they're visible. So be patient a little bit longer, right? Uh, so that you can clearly see where you're heading and then decide this is where you want to be heading. And then, you know, put the pedal to the metal, put the pedal to the metal and, and go for it, right? So what I'm hearing is for, for you, Librans, this month is to, um, I, energetically speaking, it, it feels like it would be a mistake to just take the, the, the next job that comes along because the old one is absolute shit. And I get that. If the, if the old one isn't working, by all means, go somewhere. But it may not be what you're really looking for, right? So project, right? Be proactive, project. Where is it I want to go? And then um, manifest these opportunities into your life. Okie dokie. Deepens, that's all I got. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, like I said, please like, subscribe and share. You have no idea how much difference that would make because um, I just looked at my statistics the other day and we have literally three times more people watching videos than subscribing, right? Uh, yeah, um, apparently this happens to, to a lot of creators on, on, on YouTube. So uh, I, I do not believe it's me who is shit, right? Just, you know, if you could subscribe, it would make a big difference. Anyway, Libra, uh, Libra, thank you very much. See you next month.